Hello, I'm Alex and welcome to this 30 minute full body kettlebell workout to build muscle. Whatever your fitness level, I'm going to guide you through this workout to make it fun and effective. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, it's very important that we start things off with a warm up. Let's go for some arm circles. We'll spend a few minutes to get the body ready, activated and warm before we start lifting the kettlebell in this strength circuit. Take nice big circles, warming up the shoulder joint, taking deep breaths. So we're gonna be doing seven exercises in 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, and go round that circuit for three sets. Okay, let's take it into torso rotations. So twisting the upper body, keep the lower body nice and soft, bending the knees, twisting from the hips, engaging in the core, and allowing your hips to twist side to side. Opening up the chest as you twist. Okay, come down to the ground into a high plank to downward dog. So start in this high plank position. Soften the knees and push back into a downward dog stretch for a couple of seconds, enjoy it, and then roll forwards back to your plank, engage in the core, shoulders, legs, in your own time, moving between these two positions. In that downward dog, lifting the hips up high, stretching the calves, ankles, and hamstrings. Okay, and walk it back to a deep squat position. So keep your feet in a squat position and sit down nice and low in your squat, chest up, hips down, feet flat on the ground. If you can't keep your feet flat on the ground, then come forwards, hands on the floor, and just softly work on that stretching in the ankles and knees and hips. Otherwise, we're nice and low, activating into the legs, stretching, core engaged, glutes, legs, groin, all working. You can come up and down out of it if you like in your squat. Five more seconds. Okay, stand up, final exercise into a march, driving those knees up, core engaged, get the heart rate up a little bit more and moving the entire body ready for the start of the circuit. So I have two different weights here. I have a 12 kilogram and a 16 kilogram. Not too heavy, but not too light either. So comment below which weights you're using. If you only have one weight, that is fine. But ideally we need a variety of weights for different exercises, but see how you go. Okay, well done, rest there. We're gonna take it into the circuit. I'll just change my timing. Now to 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Exercise one, we're taking it to a single arm shoulder press. So we bring the kettlebell up into this racked position, elbow tucked in, straight wrist here. From here, we're driving above the head into a single arm shoulder press. Staying on one side for 40 seconds. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off you go. We are in, exercise one, circuit set one. Fully extend the arm to the top till your arm is straight, work in the shoulders. And if the weight is too heavy, then allow a little push press from the legs, from the hips. Otherwise, if the weight is light, keep it a strict press. If you have a watch strap, 
or a watch face in the way, I normally like to turn it around or take it off for the shoulder presses or any racked position like this. I will on my left arm. And rest, well done, rest for 20 seconds before the same on the other side. Okay, get ready. In three, two, one. Up it comes. 40 seconds, other arm. It's completely fine if you find one arm is stronger or weaker than the other side. When we're doing unilateral or single limb exercises, you might find this. And this is a full body exercise itself. We're working on the stabilization, the balance, stability in the legs and the core. Keep breathing, controlling the weight down. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, okay, we're now gonna take it into an alternate arm gorilla row. So into a bent over row position, bring the kettlebell between the legs. Nice, wide, stable stance. Bent over row position, single arm row, into the body, down, and switch. Let's go, alternate arm, you stay in this bent over position. Keep the kettlebell underneath the body, nice and tight to the legs. Real strong foundation in the lower body. But as the elbow drives up, really squeeze those back muscles. This is an exercise to build big, strong back. Well done, rest there. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna take it into an overhead swing. If you haven't done an overhead swing before, then maybe spend the first set doing a standard kettlebell swing, if you want. And then those of you that are ready to take it, bend and extend to the top. Let's go, 40 seconds, we're in. So if you're still learning the kettlebell swing, I'd rather you focus on the standard version to begin with. And this is a hip hinge exercise. So your bum goes back and forwards, back and forwards. Not a squat, not up and down like this, okay? So there are some significant differences between the two. 10 seconds, squeeze the glutes as your hips drive forwards. Four, three, two, one, good, rest there. Right, we're gonna take it to upper body into a push-up. Lay the kettlebell down with the ring facing you. And we're gonna push up with one hand on the kettlebell and then walk it in, switch hands or place and switch hands however you like and then push up the other side. Let's go. Knees down, always an option like this. Push up, step it in, step out, push up. In, out. So the hand that's on the kettlebell is getting an increased range of motion. Go slow and focus on the muscle tension in the chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'm doing the first set on my knees to show you. And also, nice warm up into the shoulders if you want as well. Four, three, two, one and rest. Good, we're progressing through this circuit. Let's stay down on the floor to work the abs. Keep the kettlebell on the floor, either um, upright now or still laying down. We're gonna work the abs in, legs over, side to side over the kettlebell. Let's go. Hands on the floor, lean back slightly, and keep the tension in the abs and hip flexors. See so if you can get your heels to tap the floor each side of the kettlebell. Whilst leaning back.
five. Two, one, and rest. Final exercise, let's work the legs in a goblet squat. Bring the kettlebell up to chest height. Hold it in your chest, elbows tucked in, feet a little bit wider than your standard squat. Out turn the toes, taking it into a squat, nice and slowly and strong. And here we go, dropping it down and push. Make sure your knees are tracking in, no, your elbows are tracking inside the knees. And make sure your feet flat on the ground, pushing through your heels and your toes. Technique quality is the most important thing. And then you can start picking up the weight and the speed. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. 20 seconds rest before we start the circuit again for round two. Get ready for the shoulder press. Back to the first arm. We are in two, round two. Shoulder press, let's go. So, round one complete. What have you learned about the exercises ahead? How can you improve them further and have an awesome rest of this workout? Core engaged, hips level. 10 seconds. And rest. Well done, switch to the same on the left or the other, depending on which one you started with. Okay, when you're ready, here we go. Focusing also on the controlling down, not just falling down, but controlling it down, working the shoulders and the arms. Ten seconds. And rest, well done. That is the shoulder press complete. Let's take it into the alternate arm gorilla row. If you have the heavier weights, then you should be able to row more than you can overhead press, just in case you were looking to increase. Now is a good chance. Off you go. Keep the elbow nice and tight to the body. And I want to see a straight back. No rounded backs here. Lengthen the spine and pull. Biceps will work as well as the back, but make sure it's the back first. 10. and rest, well done. Let's take it into the swing. If you can do that overhead, then give it a go. If you wanna stay in the standard swing, then stay in the standard swing. Otherwise now, I'll talk a little bit more about the extension above the head. In three, two, one, here we go. Standard swing to chest height, or you drive above the head, but not one complete arc because it's hard to stop it and you might fall backwards. So, bend the elbows and push. Bend the elbows and push. So it's not one big circle. Off you go. Drive those hips. Straight body. Don't hyperextend and lean forwards. 
hamstrings, glutes, lower back and shoulders. Two, one, and rest. Great work. Let's come down to the ground for the push-up. If you don't get on well with this, then just work on your standard push-up, that is fine. Otherwise, keep taking those side-to-side -side steps. Breathe, and let's work the upper body. Here we go. Get your chest down nice and low. If you can't, then drop the knees. Good quality strength building technique. Ten. Two, one. Well done, rest. Get ready for the leg lifters. So get your hips in line with the kettlebell, hand supported behind you, then bring your legs to one side, lean back, and let's go, lift over. As well as lifting up, you're lifting in slightly. Lift those knees up towards you, crunching. Stay with it. Rest if you really need to. Otherwise, keep going. Six, five. And rest. Oh yes, we're working. Get ready for the goblet squat to finish round two out of three. 10 seconds. Goblet squat position. Two, one, let's go. Holding a weight in your chest is a great way to ensure you are keeping good posture. Chest up, straight back. Elbows in, seven, six, two, one, rest there, well done. That is two out of three sets. Let's do it one more time from the top. We got this. Shoulder press, first arm in two, one. Here we go. Okay, final round. What have we got? Give every one of these sets your best attempt, best technique, and don't give up. Really engage those abs as you push, so you don't lean to the side. Eight, seven. Rest, awesome, switch the other arm. Get ready, three, two, one, and press. Stay up tall, good posture. See if you can get that elbow locked back in here in that racked position before pressing. Ten seconds. 
if we can get to muscular failure to build muscle. Two, one, yes. Well done. Get ready for the alternate arm gorilla row. Three, two, one. Let's go. Can you get that micro pause at the peak contraction? Squeeze, release. Lock in that elbow in place. Putting the shoulder up and back. Five, four, keep going. And rest, well done. Let's get ready for the swing. Your version of standard swing or overhead if you're ready for it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Control the kettlebell down. If you're doing the overhead swing, take it straight into the next swing by pushing those hips back, reaching under. Stay safe. Make sure those glutes and thighs are doing big work. Ten seconds. Two, one, rest. Oh yes, come down. Let's build those pecs in the push-up. Let's make it a good set, final time. Final chance to really work the chest muscles and the shoulders. Two, one, let's go. Halfway. Push it. Five. And rest. Yes. We're so close now. Stay down for the leg overs. Three, two, one. Put in those abs and lift. Hip flexors are gonna work too. Building strength in that midsection and hips. Fifteen. Leaning back, pulling in, breathe. Three, two, one, yes. Okay, goblet squat to finish round three out of three. Before the quick finisher. So get ready to squat. Good technique, slow, controlled, and powerful. Let's build. Let's go. Almost there. Keep pushing. 10 seconds. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest for 20. We're going for a one minute finisher, okay? Going from squat to thruster is a bad idea. We're gonna burn out those legs. A thruster is like that squat, but we're pressing afterwards. So, squat, press, use the momentum and carry on. Are you ready? Let's go. Thruster into the chest, squat, press into the chest. Let's see what we got for a full 60 seconds. If you hit failure, then rest, breathe, and jump back in. Use the momentum of the stand to help the upper body. Good quality squat. Keep going. 20 seconds. Use those legs. 10. Three, two, one. Yes. Oh, over. Epic work. Well done. Breathe. Have a drink if you need. Sit down. Stay with me. Don't leave the video. It's important to bring the heart rate down with control and recovery. And join me for some stretches to improve our flexibility, recovery, and to have that nice few minutes of transition into the rest of your day after this intense workout. So join me in a child's pose position. Hands out wide, knees a bit wide, and sit back. Lengthen the spine, drop the chest. You can rest your elbows and forehead on the floor if you like. And breathe. Come forwards into a pigeon stretch. Lift one knee up towards the same hand. Drop that leg down. Drop the back leg down. And enjoy that stretch across the hips and hip flexors. You can stay up here if you'd like, or if you're flexible and ready, you can drop down to your forearms and increase the stretch if you like. Just follow what feels good. Don't push past any joint pain in your knees or anywhere else. You wanna feel a nice healthy stretch in the glutes. And step back and switch, same thing on the other side. Get in a nice comfortable position. And when you're there, focus again onto your breathing. Take some nice, deep inhales and exhales. And hopefully getting back to nasal only breathing as quickly as you can to show your ability to recover and your fitness. Breathe into the belly. Okay, let's take it into a shoulder stretch. You can stay seated or stand up if you like. I'm gonna stay in cross leg and just lift one arm across the body, pull that arm in and feel that stretch across the shoulders. Drop your shoulders down and reach across. Final two stretches here. Stay with you right to the end. So, those of you who don't know, I do have a kettlebell only training program inside my app. So if you love training kettlebells with me and you don't want these 
random workouts and you don't know how to program them, then I've done all the hard work for you in my kettlebell only program. It's a 12-week program to help you get fit, strong, lean, and healthy and functional switch arms. So if you haven't tried it, then make sure you download my app and give it a go. They all come with full length workouts just like this that you're doing here with me. And if you have any questions, then just let me know. And also many of you ask what I'm drinking during these workouts. So I'm drinking my, my bulk supplements at the moment, my amino acids, post-workout protein shakes, protein bars, and so many other fitness foods and supplements that I'm taking on a day-to-day -day basis to support my nutrition and lifestyle. So make sure if you're interested in any of those that you follow the links in my description and take a look. Okay, all timed perfectly for what I wanted to say and with our cool down. And if you need more cool down, then make sure you check out some of my stretching um, sessions as well. Otherwise, well done, keep smashing it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.